Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is lost footage video number two. Uh, like I said in the last video, real quick, I just had an issue with my external hard drive. Uh, it took a long time to get it back, but uh, finally got it back like towards the end of the season. I was still making videos, so I figured I'd save this for like midwinter when uh, there's nothing else to do. So here it is, go check it out. We start on the south side of Montauk at Ditch Plains. Uh, around noon, we switch over to the north side and meet up with my buddy Dan, and that's a pretty good trip. So we have a lot of fun. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll be fishing pretty soon. All right, so we got a funky new rig we're using today. Let's see what I did there. We're using a, a half ounce funky bucktail, all pink, with a four-inch swimming mullet. And we have a one ounce funky bucktail with just a um, five inch uh, fork tail. I'm not really sure. I got these at on at Kmart one day when I was grocery shopping. So haven't used them, so we're gonna put them to good use. So we're gonna go scented and unscented. Give it a shot. See what see what produces. Come on, bigger fluke. Come on, big fluke. Big, big fluke. So far, the gulp is winning. Nothing has taken the artificial. Well, they're both artificial, but uh, nothing's taken the five inch fork tail on the bottom. I think it's Hoagie that makes them, now that I think of it. See that shit? Woo -hoo. Bucktail came within like inches of my face. My cat like reflexes. <laughs> Had a couple close calls with bucktails like that. Luckily I've missed them all. You hope just the head of the bucktail hits you, not the hook, but most likely if you get one, you get the other. shit out he was just I think he was waving to me Woo! man it's cool seeing that stuff
little fluke here. I think. Pulling all over the place. A little mackerel. Oh, we got a double header. Look at that. for holding. All right, so pretty much on the south side, it was a story of pretty much all shorts, short fluke. Uh, we gave up on the, uh, the, the test between the pink hoagie fork tail and the gulp about halfway through because all the fluke were hitting the gulp so I just switched over to a gulp on the bottom too. Um, but it was pretty much all shorties on the on the south side. Uh, in like an hour or so, right around noon, I pretty much pack it up and uh, head over to the north side and uh, give it a shot over there. All right, so a little change of scenery. Uh, we were on the south side, caught a ton of shorts and a ton of sea robins. <sighs> Told myself it was gonna, if it was going to be like that, we'd switch over to the north side. And that's what we're doing. We're on the north side, hence the jetties. So uh, we're going to head out to where we got those sea bass the other day, those nice sea bass. See if we can't pick up a couple. It's slack tide right now, I think. The tide should be turning in a, about a half an hour. So uh, it'll be an easy pedal out there. We'll be able to cruise. But we got incoming tide. So, all right, here we go. We're coming up the hump. Let's see if there's still fish here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, so we had to put a heavier bucktail on. The tide is cranking over here. Should be about slack soon, I would think. But it's still the outgoing. We went up quite a ways, do a big long drift. See if we can't pick up a couple of fish per drift. Go sea bass, come on, I know you're down there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this feels like a nice float. You know it's nice when it's turning the kayak. Sea bass. Pull them against the tide, that's why. Dang. That's what a nice one fights like. Whew. Yeah. Turn the kayak and everything. Now we know now we know what a small fish feels like get against the tide. Oh, just got slammed. This is what the last one felt like. It actually feels a little nicer than the last one. Oh yeah. That's a keeper. You're coming home with me. Woo! The north side was a good move, baby. Another nice two and a half pound sea bass. About the same size as the one last 
last week. Stick this guy in there. All right, one nice sea bass in the bag. Let's go for number two. Oh, we missed him. Missed him, missed him, missed him. There he is. Definitely another sea bass. Keeper. Oh, got our bucktail munched off. Two nice sea bass. All right, guys, sweet. Two drifts, two really nice keeper sea bass. Both are easily over two pounds. We're going for number three, we're going for a limit. So maybe this one will be a little picky with. This one will, if we catch it a smaller one, put a keeper, we'll throw it back, or maybe we'll keep it on the stringer because uh, the fish stay alive on the stringer for a long, long time. So maybe we could, you know, do a couple drifts, see if we could pick something up the same size or a little bigger. And Dan should be getting out of here soon. I'll be limited out on sea bass. And I hope he gets his limit. Some solid fish here, Dan. <laughs> I got two. I'm gonna toss this one back, I think. I got two nice sea bass up to like two and a half pounds already. Three and a half? Two and a half. I'll take it. Hell yeah. I'm gonna move. Uh, uh, hey, you know what? It's your lucky day, buddy. Not if he's on the end of my line. <laughs> I, well, I got two, so I told myself I'll be a little yeah. picky. How do you like that cooler bag? I love it, man. Is it, uh, did I stay pretty icy in there? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I put a whole bag of it in there this morning. Yeah. And, uh, and I probably have a third of a bag left. Oh! There we go. Oh! Damn, we got him now. Oh! <laughs> you drop back down and he comes right back to it. This is what happened last time. Yeah, it felt like a sea bass. He's back. He's, oh, I missed him. He's back. He's back. Come on. Take it again. Oh, yeah. That happened last time. I dropped two really nice ones. Dropped right back down and they... they they picked it up right away. Oh yeah. That's a limit. That's a limit. Damn dude. That's some of the best sea bass I've ever had on the north side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to put a gulp on, but we're going to put a five inch. Yeah, this is it. We're going to put a five inch grub on rather than the small ones. Let's see if we can attract a nice fluke or something. I'm not grub, five inch uh, swimming mullet. Uh, 
All right, so we decided to ditch the hump, the sea bass hump, head to deeper water to try to pick up a couple nice fluke. We're gonna head out to about where we caught that six pound fluke. I don't have it marked, but I know the general area. So let's do a long drift, see if we can find some fluke. This reminds me of it. Last year, it was probably the same day you got your big fluke. It was the day before the season closed. I got a sea bass that was about this big but I snagged it. Oh, this is a fluke. Feel good? I mean, right now it feels, feels all right. I don't think it's monstrous, but it could possibly, could, it's got solid head shakes. Hmm, I don't know, he's lightening up pretty good now. Oh yeah. Come on, oh shit, my net's on the other side. Might be, I'm not sure. No, he's a quarter inch shy. We'll see you next year. Yeah, baby! How'd you feel? I don't know, I mean, we got a long way to go, but <laughs> felt good on the hook set. Feels good still. I think he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Pretty sure we got us a mixed bag today. It'll blow my mind if he's not a keeper. Oh! What are we looking at? Oh, he's a quarter inch short again. <laughs> That's twice. Damn. It'll blow my mind. I'm gonna go talking shit. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We're gonna we're gonna head in. Uh, had a good day. Started on the south side, launched a ditch at like 5:36 in the morning. Uh, caught a shit ton of uh, short fluke and sea robins, and I told myself, you know what? If this is how it is till at 11 o'clock, we'll pick up and we'll move to the north side. And that's what we did. And uh, Within like an hour, hour and change, we got our limit of black sea bass, very nice black sea bass, jumbos. And uh, picked up a sh couple short fluke that were close to being keepers, but hopefully we'll see them again in 2020. But uh, that's about it. We're gonna reel up and we're gonna head in. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.